In 2014, police used their powers under the Criminal Justice and Police Act 2001 to close down a nightclub in Handsworth. The club had been in operation since the 80s, playing dancehall, revival, lovers rock and R&B music and had a history of violence, shootings, stabbings and murder. The place had also been running with no drinks license or without an entertainment license and had been raided by police multiple times. The owner of the nightclub, 43-year-old Arnold Salmon from Hansworth, was ordered to pay a £2,500 fine and told that he'd be jailed if he opened the club again. The nightclub had had its troubles over the years. This is the story about the happenings at Club Plaza in Hansworth. On the early hours of Saturday, March the 19th, 1994, staff at the Plaza nightclub in Handsworth, Birmingham, were involved in a struggle with a club goer who they were attempting to throw out. It's been alleged that the club goer had been smoking the highly addictive substance, crack, inside the club and he was told that he had to leave. But he didn't want to, so he was dragged out by the bouncers. As the man was being taken out, allegedly, the owner of the club, Arnold Salmon, fired four or five shots into the ceiling to demonstrate his authority, which angered the man being taken out. The man being kicked out of Plaza Nightclub was 26-year-old Carl Spencer, known on the streets as Ringo. At one point in his life, it said that Carl Spencer was a well-known big time drug dealer but he had broken rule number four of the ten crack commandments a reference to the late biggie smalls famous rap song once carl started to use his own drugs that he was supposed to be selling he became very paranoid and unpredictable and was known to have a lot of enemies he was also known to beat up his girlfriends. When Carl was ejected from Plaza nightclub, he came back at approximately 2.30 a.m. But this time, he was accompanied by two associates and a gun. According to eyewitness Janet Williams, who was the girlfriend of one of the bouncers, as she was parking her car, to pick up her boyfriend, bouncer Keith Copeland. She saw three men walking down George Street, chanting. One of these three men knocked on the Plaza Club door while Carl Spencer hid in the shadows. And as soon as the door was opened, Carl then stepped out of the shadows and fired one shot at point blank range into the head of the bouncer who had opened the door, killing him almost immediately. That bouncer was 35-year-old Keith Copeland of Aston, who was the father of one-year-old twin daughters. The gunman then fired a warning shot into the ground and walked off and got into a metro car with his two accomplices and drove off. Eyewitnesses said that as the bouncer Keith Copeland lay on the ground, his cousin knelt next to his limp body, saying, Don't go. Don't go. Keith Copeland was said to be a big Aston Villa football club fan and was looking forward to going to Wembley that Sunday. There was said to have been around 20 to 40 people in the Plaza nightclub at the time of the shooting. Police had one suspect almost immediately, 26-year-old Carl Spencer, known as Ringo. And the police put out an immediate appeal to the public for their help in locating his whereabouts. Members of the public were warned not to approach him, with the police saying the suspect Ringo 
takes crack cocaine and has an expensive drug habit which can lead him to behave in an unpredictable fashion. On no account should anyone approach him because he will probably be armed on a permanent basis. The killer was believed to be hiding with friends in Aston and a £5,000 reward was offered by Crime Stoppers for any information leading to his capture. Upon hearing the news of her husband's murder, the father of her twin daughters, understandably, Keith Copeland's wife, was said to be in shock. Police examined the area around the Plaza nightclub and found evidence that a number of handguns had been fired there. Carl Spencer, a.k.a. Ringo, was eventually caught when the cousin of the man he shot dead spotted him in the street three months later and contacted the police. On Monday the 8th of August 1994, Carl Spencer appeared before Birmingham magistrates charged with the murder. Carl denied that he had been the gunman and claimed that it was a case of mistaken identity. He also refused to give evidence. The trial lasted for two months and after four hours of deliberating, the jury found 26-year-old Carl Spencer not guilty. Upon hearing the verdict, Carl's family and friends that had been in the public gallery cheered loudly. The not guilty verdict was based on the fact that the jury agreed there was insufficient evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Carl was guilty. It was said that walking free from the trial gave Carl an air of arrogance of someone who thought they were untouchable. But a year after being found not guilty of murder, on Christmas Eve 1995, Carl Spencer, known as Ringo, was found lying in snow with his hands handcuffed on a golf course near Handsworth by a dog walker, barely clinging to life. He had been shot in the back and left for hours to die. Carl survived and was taken to the hospital in a critical condition. The alleged story goes that Carl had gone to visit his girlfriend the day before and whilst there he started smoking crack. Crack made him paranoid and unpredictable as stated earlier and he started an argument. But there were also four other males in the house. The men handcuffed, gagged and then forced Carl into a car. Carl was then driven to Hilltop Golf Course, taken out of the car and told to run. He was then blasted in the back and left to die in snow. The police said that Carl survived the shooting and the freezing temperatures because he was high on crack. In October 1996, almost a year later, Two men were charged with the kidnap and attempted murder. But the trial collapsed when Carl failed to turn up to court to give evidence and the men walked free. In an almost similar twist of fate, 11 years after his acquittal, Carl Spencer, Ringo, was later charged and convicted of the murder of another Birmingham bouncer, Ishfaq Ahmed, aged 24, which I covered in a previous story in my Gun Number 6 video last month.